What is going on guys, it's Triple G here back with another Outriders video and today we're going to be going through the weapon, the Imploder. Now the Imploder does exactly what it says on the tin and is absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch, we stream five times a week and otherwise let's get straight into this video. So the Imploder is a double gun standard variant. Now, as with most things in Outriders, your best chance of getting hold of one of these weapons is actually doing either your world tier progression or doing the challenge here at Expeditions. However, once you have this thing in your hands, it's probably going to fast become one of the best weapons that you ever use. Its ability Deadly Disturbance is absolutely top tier. It can do 222k damage off just a single critical hit and has a cooldown of just three seconds. Now, what you do here is you pair this with an ultimate damage link, and then every time that procs, that damage is shared with the enemies around them, and you just one-tap things. And then if there are a group of them, you one-tap the group as well. It absolutely mows down beasts, it mows down humans. It's really, really good for beasts with the damage link as well. If you can hit those pesky little crits on the beasts, you will just clear entire mobs really, really quickly. In terms of the weapon itself, it is a very good looking thing. Obviously, you can see at the bottom here that I have put ultimate damage link on this weapon as well as deadly disturbance. And because of its large clip size, it works pretty well with the Technomancer, although it is not ideal. The reason why it's not quite ideal for the Technomancer is because the deadly disturbance doesn't actually count as a kill shot, meaning that you will not proc trick up the sleeve and replenish your ammo from the anomaly explosion. Now the anomaly explosion nine times out of 10 is going to be what kills the enemy here. So it doesn't quite work with trick up the sleeve. However, if you still want to use this on Technomancer, you can put a tier two perk called the perpetual motion on, which will refill your magazine completely. If you get a kill with 35% of your magazine or less in the barrel. So you can get away with it and it does work pretty well. Also, it's a really good backup weapon, period. Like if you've got a build that you use a certain weapon and it works well, but you run out of your anomaly rounds, twisted rounds, whatever you want to call it, you run out and you need to switch to a weapon quickly. This work weapon works really, really well for clearing out anybody that's in trouble. As I said earlier, guys, this is another absolutely fantastic looking gun. This is another triumph for Outriders. All their legendary weapons look absolutely sensational. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us on Twitch. We stream five times a week. And otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip.